Ah, welcome to this yoga class that focuses on somatic awareness and a little bit of eye movement uh, in this practice to support brain health. I know for me with my traumatic brain injury, uh, vision therapy was very helpful and there's things in yoga that are similar um, to some vision therapy exercises. So <laughs> not that it's the same thing, but um, there is some crossover in modalities and uh, I find yoga supported me along with the vision therapy. So today we'll lie on our backs to begin. This is just generally good for the brain. So lie here on the floor. And see if you can envision yourself on the floor. Perhaps take an aerial view of the room. You can notice where the furniture sits. Any tables. Your mat. And the outline of your body on the floor. And now feel into the body and sense the heaviness of the earth beneath you as you ground. And now from center, Take your eyes all the way to the right and then back to center. Take your eyes left and to center. Sweep them down, back to midline and up, back to center. Left, center, down, center, right, center, up, center, down to midline, right, left, up, down, up, right, left, down, back to center, inhale. Exhale, perhaps sigh. And start to make circles with your eyes. Only if this feels safe for you, in one direction. Notice any stuck points, or if this is easy. And reverse directions. Remember, all of this is optional. And let it go. Notice if this shifted your experience in any way. From here, plant the feet and then hug the knees into the chest. And perhaps rock the head side to side. Again, only if it's safe for you. Still the head and rock the leg side to side.
and plant the feet back down. Peel the spine off the earth and lift into a bridge. And pause at the top as you press the shoulders down, press the back of the skull into the earth. Fan the toes and plant them as you lift the heels and wave through the feet and come onto the heels as the toes lift. And continue here, toe ball heel, heel ball toe. Round the feet to lower, lower, lower the pelvis. That's fine. Mm. Stretch the arms out from the shoulder and start to roll, log roll, one palm up, one palm down. And allow the head to drape one way as the legs go the opposite way. And switch. Let the spiral through the spine ripple through the rest of the body. The head could always remain still. and come back to center and reach those arms and legs long long body stretch bring on a yarn before you roll into your belly arms extended directly from the shoulder thumbs up lift through the head and lower back down the sides of the hands will slide perhaps along the earth, lift and lower. One more time, lift. And see if the hands will lift and take your right thumb and arc the arm back as you follow it with your gaze. And then bring the thumb back to start, bring the head back to start. Take the left arm out to the side, follow it with your eyes and return home. Let's take a little break here. Bend the knees, windshield washer, the shins. And return the shins to the earth, lift up through the torso. Follow that right thumb. And bring everything back. Left thumb sweeps back and returns. Let's see if we can stay lifted, come to the right. And left. Lower down. And slide those hands toward the shoulders. Press yourself up into tabletop and round and arch the spine. And you might close the eyes or you might keep them open and focus the eyes on whatever's directly in front of them. Like you're tracing a line with your nose on an arc up and down between the knees. Now start to bend the elbows and do the same thing. Look up, trace your gaze up, and then round. Gaze goes between the knees, just traces a line.
do more. And last one round. Uh, and then come to neutral, let the shoulders sink. Mm, and press the earth away. Sink and press. Last time. Ah. And then come onto your seat. Perhaps to face me. Hmm. And also do this supine. Or from seated, take the eyes all the way to the right and keep them there. Again, only do this if this feels okay. Eyes come back to center. Ah. Notice any shifts in tension. And trail your eyes all the way to the left. Back to center. Where you drop the chin and sweep the head, perhaps side to side. Bring it back through center. And look over, rotate with the torso to your left. As you inhale, that back arm reaches to the sky, crosses over the other arm and switch the rotation to the right. Inhale here as that right arm reaches up, crosses over, return to the original side. Let's see if we can go a little faster. Left arm up, crosses, rotate to the right. Right arm up, crosses, rotate to the left. And then just return to center. Unleash the legs, windshield washer. And cross them in the way that feels least comfortable. So it'll likely be opposite to the way you just had them. Arms reach out. Let's rotate to the right as the hands come down. One perhaps the thigh, one behind you. This time you might play with the neck. You might even look in the opposite direction. It looks over that right shoulder as the arm sweeps up and crosses and rotate to the opposite direction. And play perhaps with the neck. Head looks over the left shoulder as that arm reaches up, cross it, go back to the original side. A little faster now, right arm sweeps up, crosses, rotate left, left arm sweeps up, crosses, rotate right. Return to center here, arm sweep up, perhaps you fold. Roll up through the spine, plant the feet, give yourself a little hug with the arms crossed. Tuck the chin, rock that side to side to massage the thyroid. Arms open and switch, other arm on top. Mm. 
lengthen the legs, arms might sweep up as you forward fold to any degree. and roll up through the spine to find your seated position of choice. And roll the neck to one side and let's release it. Again, eyes might go in the opposite direction of the head for another vagus nerve release. Only if it feels okay, if there's no big you know, heart issues, rhythmia issues. And roll the other way. Eyes go in the opposite direction. I say these things because you just have to monitor your blood pressure, vagus nerve, you know, connect, connect to the heart. So just take caution. And be okay for most to do this. And drop the chin. Look up as the arms sweep up. And bring your hands through to heart center. And just notice how you feel. For me, I feel a little nauseous. <laughs> This is good for everyone though, not just people that have issues with their brain. Help support somatic awareness, help support our nervous systems. And thank you for practicing with me today. Satnam.